right now. It's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. We continue to keep tabs on the severe weather that is popping left and right through now the UP of Michigan, back through portions of Wisconsin, Minnesota, and even Nebraska, seeing a lot of severe storms fire up along a frontal boundary, even at this late hour. Thank you for joining us here at Stormwatch. I'm Bob Child. Let's take a look at the national map. And it is that frontal boundary, those couple of red L's, the low pressure systems up around the western Great Lakes, those will be lifting up into Canada, and as they do so, dragging with it this cold front that is a demarcation line between not only warmer, moist air and drier, but cooler air as well. So now we do see a good temperature difference. Oh, about 25 degrees on one side of the front and then behind it by about 100 miles. But along this front, very strong uh, winds, severe weather, tornado watch box still up for a large part of Wisconsin, pushing into the UP of Michigan. Uh, severe thunderstorm watch box, a new one just now added for Iowa, heading into southern portions of Wisconsin. The tornado warning that had pushed in the UP of Michigan was quickly dismantled. That storm moving across the surface at 55 knots. These storms, some of them have tops of 50,000 feet, 55,000 feet, very formidable. So in the northern portion, we're worrying about a bit, when I say a bit of rotation, I mean along the front going up over the low, so we get a bit of divergence in the wind directions. Coming down the front, we start getting into the straight line type of problem, not that the cells are rotating, but they're working in concert moving, so they have straight line winds of 60, 70 miles an hour. Even uh, wouldn't surprise me to see some greater reports, especially with the lateral speed that these storms are moving across the surface. So, you know, we're going to start moving in with radars. We're going to look at Minneapolis, St. Paul, and watch everything firing out to the east. We've been talking about it all night because of, of the counties that have just seen repeated, just repeated poundings. It has to be Sawyer and Price counties, and uh, the concern is now these almost start to look like they're they're coalescing into a line as opposed to being individual cells. Not uncommon to see supercells get together and form a bow echo. But bow echoes, by their own right, are very damaging uh, in and of themselves. And this is not a bowing echo, but this is straight line. And these, this line right, I tell you right now, putting out some damaging, damaging winds coming out of it. We're just now starting to get the severe weather reports. And by tomorrow morning, certainly get a better feel for it. But these are all very strong. Any number of severe thunderstorm warnings. And again, the big threat from this arrangement is straight line winds, and it sounds like a tornado, uh, no doubt about that. Even in southeastern Nebraska, looking at some storms firing up along that front, and they are tenacious indeed, and all pushing off to the south, starting to spin around. And uh, Paul Emick will be up next and let you know if there's going to be any chance for those tornadoes continuing. They're certainly watching for those, especially as they come off the wires. Had seen some rain earlier in Florida, just to give you a taste of other concerns around the country, but that uh, has died down with the setting of the sun. Still some light rainfall holding on in portions of Florida, the thunderstorms having moved off the shore south of Daytona Beach. But uh, the chance for that convection tomorrow certainly is going to be there 
but the best chance for the storms will be continuing all through tonight and be a problem through the upper portions of the Midwest. Let's take a quick look at the tropical update and uh, for all the news I've been telling you about the Midwest, you'll like to know that while this is a big source of origin from the Gulf of Mexico and uh, heading into the Western Caribbean that in fact right now it's very quiet. Oh, well, there's some areas of thunderstorms we look at, but that's about it. Caribbean is quiet. The Atlantic is quiet. This is all down on the inland tropical convergence zone. We, late in the season, we'll see them come off the Cape Verde Islands and get those disturbances up at a 20 degree latitude so that the Coriolis force can take effect and start spinning those areas. But not a problem now. And even the Pacific is quiet. So in terms of tropical update, all is quiet, but not in the contiguous United States. Again, stay tuned for Paul and Nick. If you're concerned about higher utility bills, remember, there's a solution within reach. A beautiful Hunter ceiling fan can cut your summer cooling costs by up to 40%. Hunter, saving money never looked so good. It's our quietest, most powerful motor ever. Designed to help you save up to 40% on summer cooling bills. The patented Air Max motor, only in Hunter ceiling fans. Hunter, quiet for life. Toms you have around because your heartburn keeps coming back? There's a neater idea. New Pepsi Complete. It works as fast as Tums, but lasts seven times longer, all in a chewable tablet. New Pepsi Complete. Just one, and heartburn's done. For a free sample, call 1 800 4 Pepsi or visit our website at pepsidcomplete.com. Are you one of the millions of American males who would like increased sexual energy? If you've been considering Viagra as a solution, consider something different. All natural Enerx. Clinical studies show various ingredients of Enerx enhance sexual energy, increasing desire, performance, and satisfaction. Enerx is all natural with no side effects. With Enerx, you'll feel the increased energy within minutes and with no chemicals. We're so sure you and your mate will be completely satisfied. We'll offer you a 30-day, no questions asked, full refund. Enerx stimulates sexual energy by expanding the blood vessels, causing increased blood flow to specific areas of the body. Unleash the power of Enerx now. Call 1-800-619-7247, toll free, and it will be delivered discreetly to your home. Get results using the safe, all-natural alternative, Enerx. by this cable or satellite provider. You can also get reliable forecasts from the Weather Channel through this radio station. It's easy to access weather.com on America Online. Just enter keyword weather or point and click. It's so simple, you can quickly check the weather online and still have plenty of time left over to get outside and enjoy it. Weather.com on America Online. Keyword weather. to go when you want to be safe. Weather.com. Live by it. Right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel.
Welcome to Weather Center here at the Weather Channel. I'm Paul Emick. Together we'll take a look at a lot of active weather going on across the U.S. We'll take a look at a very stormy night, even in parts of Michigan. Let's begin. Take a look across the U.S. We do see a few concerns across the U.S., mostly in the Midwest. Now, parts of upstate New York might see a shower or two, but uh, really the worst of the weather happens to be across the Midwest. We're looking at a number of areas with very, very active weather and the chance of severe weather. A tornado watch remains in effect across parts of Wisconsin into a bit of Michigan. Also a severe thunderstorm watch. Parts of Illinois, Wisconsin, either across Iowa and a portion of Missouri. And a little bit of Nebraska, too. Severe thunderstorm watch means conditions are favorable for severe weather in and around these particular areas. I looked a moment ago and no tornado warnings in effect, but there is indeed the chance of additional severe weather. Pretty powerful line of storms. Some of the UP of Michigan, others across Wisconsin, and of course moving into Illinois. We'll take a look at that coming up in just a few moments. We're beginning with a look at the western U.S., a little bit breezy across the, well, portions of the northern parts of California, a little windy for us at times. As far as wet weather, not a lot of that to go around. Of course, all the fire problems we could use right in Southern Cal, but not really expecting any in the short term. Northwest might get a little wet relief. As far as right now, showers across Montana, a few into Colorado. Honestly, more of a light drizzle at times. Honestly, just a few areas, a little light drizzle here and there, including some that are around Denver. Amounts of precip that could add up, nothing that much, maybe a tenth of an inch or so across portions of Montana. Quick look at the temperatures now, 91 to Denver. Another hot day toward Phoenix at 108, 105 to Vegas. About 84 to L.A. We saw a very warm day here, 75 to San Diego and 67 northwest, a little cooler. As far as the temperatures go, 113 to Palm Springs, 70 toward Santa Barbara. Also looking at some additional areas of uh, well warmth, too, across central parts of California as well. Pretty warm day, 97 to Sacramento, 82 to San Francisco, and 76 around Blue Canyon. 67 for Seattle, as we mentioned, and 74 toward Portland. A little cooling tonight, not around Trout, Dale, or Hillsboro. We're down, but still in the 60s. 60 toward Spokane, around 76 for Reno, 66 to Blue Canyon, and now 63 degrees around San Francisco. As far as the uh, downtown temperature goes, that's where we are, but a little warmer San Jose, and still in the 70s around Napa as well. 99 to Palm Springs, almost the triple digits at this hour of the night. 67 for the Civic Center and 68 towards San Diego. As far as specifics, around uh, Anaheim at 70. Also uh, 76 now around Burbank. Take a look at uh, some quakes information here. A few will have specifics at the bottom of the hour. No specifics available on these, but uh, still a couple there uh, in southern parts of California, around a two in that, in that range. Uh, reporting uh, not much across parts of northern California. In the northwest, reporting one into Oregon and also into Alaska. Several ports. We'll have that again coming up for you at the bottom of the hour. Across the western U.S., very quiet time still for us. We're not looking at a lot of active weather. A little windier for the afternoon and plenty of warmth we'll hold on to. Now, eventually, we'll get the chance of some rainfall in the northwest. We'll take a look at that about some 10 minutes away, about 8, 9 minutes away, actually. We'll take a look at that with a weekly planner. Discuss our wet weather opportunities on the way. Seattle and Portland, kind of a heads up toward the uh, wet weather prospects. Some clouds for the morning in Southern Cal. We'll kind of push those back toward the beaches. Another warm day downtown, man. A little uh, better day, a little breezier at times on Venice Beach or Santa Monica Pier. 71 to San Diego, about 71 to Santa Barbara. Nice start for the bay and a nice finish to our day by the bay. About 75, still a bit warm. On the state capital, about 101, so that's going to be a problem. Of course, with the temperatures rising, energy consumption goes up, and we wind up with more rolling blackout problems like we've been dealing with today. So. Uh, still, the chance of big-time warmth will mean additional concerns with our power, of course. In the northwest, a few clouds hang on, but otherwise a fine day. Fairly warm around Seattle and in toward Portland. Here's the current weather. We talked about the, a few areas of a few showers in the west. Makes it a little drizzle a bit longer around Denver and parts of northeastern Colorado. Northeast, pretty quiet, pretty stormy across the Midwest, and a few areas of wet weather, just a few showers in Florida. But for the most part, the northeast and mid-Atlantic, most of the Southland, High pressure, nice big dome of stability. Gives you a very tranquil night, very tranquil. Uh, and on D.C., very nice, Philadelphia, New York City, Boston, Hartford and Providence, very, very quiet toward Pittsburgh and even in toward Cleveland. A few stormy spots of note, but nothing in the Northeast just yet. Fine at night, very, very quiet. As far as precipitation, even the uh, radar vantage point showing very little. May get a few sprinkles into upstate, but not a great deal of accumulation really expected. As far as the temperatures now, Around Boston, about 74. Same goes for the city, 75 to Philly, 74 to D.C., and 75. Still a very mild night around Cleveland. It's a little on the wild side still. Parts of the Midwest, another day of storms. Slow-moving system. 
You apply a lift to this very sticky air mass where we have sufficient lift, enough moisture, and enough instability that severe weather can indeed be a problem, and it has been, so that chance will linger. A little bit wet north of Detroit, but uh, just a bit to the west, that's where the real action has been. Parts of the UP, it's been storming around Marquette for a while. Still in parts of northern Wisconsin and in the UP, we do have a tornado watch in effect, meaning tornadoes are indeed a possibility in and around this particular watch area. Severe thunderstorm watch, Wisconsin, Illinois, across parts of Iowa, into a bit of Missouri, as well as Nebraska. If you live in these areas, the prime risk here could be from some very strong winds, and also the chance of very large hail. Across Marquette, mentioned some storms pushing through now. A little wet in parts of Michigan, but not that big of an ordeal. But big storms continue to be the big story across portions of Wisconsin. You can even see in the UP, but north of Marquette, that's where the strongest cell is. And moving on toward the east, also a little bit to the uh, south of Ironwood, still quite stormy. Across northern parts of Wisconsin, even toward Wausau, I could see a little soaking rain here in the short term. Quiet toward the Twin Cities, most of the action continues to be across Wisconsin and across Iowa. A few storms kind of lining up in toward Cedar Rapids in the short term. Watch this line pushing our direction. We'll see some sizable storms, could see some gusty winds and the chance of hail. Of course, a lot of heavy rain, too, with some of these cells coming in toward Dubuque, eventually western Illinois, southward Des Moines. We've pushed pretty much the worst of the line on through here. So good riddance, maybe, to push it on. It's a little bit stormy into some central parts of Kansas as well. Now, with some of these cells, the amounts of rain they dump could be substantial, could pick up well in excess of an inch across the UP, across Wisconsin, a bit of Minnesota, and a bit of Iowa, especially might really pile it on with that line of storms moving ever so slowly. Temperatures are still warm, 83 tonight in Chicago. We're in the 70s mid-70s around Indy, and also 70 toward Minneapolis-St. Paul. Across the southern U.S., not a lot happening, except for parts of Florida. Still quite rainy at times. Uh, not much in toward Tampa, but on occasion in parts of north central Florida, we've seen some rain, a few sprinkles in south Florida. Nothing that monumental. Uh, maybe on the space coast, may pick up a sprinkle or two tonight. On toward Daytona Beach, even northward Jacksonville. I see some rain around um, driving Interstate 95. We're taking the bypass around town there. You might uh, pick up maybe a tenth of an inch, maybe just a little more in some spots. Temperatures now quite warm, still 81 to Miami, 75 toward Atlanta, and a mild 79 tonight into Dallas, Texas. That's a big picture of precip. Of course, you talked about our severe weather concerns across the Midwest. That will still be an issue into the morning, too. Big time wind across parts of Michigan. Eventually, even Detroit could see some stormy weather. Kansas City might be active, also Iowa for a while. Scattered showers across parts of Florida. But again, along and ahead of that front, that's where the big storms will be, kicking up throughout the day, even toward Cleveland, Indianapolis, West Kentucky, like toward Owensboro, even Lexington, Louisville. Might see some stormy weather on and toward the evening. Amounts of precip between now and mid-morning heaviest. We see that dark green, including Wisconsin. A lot of uh, cool air behind that front, even for the daytime. But the big-time heat is still with us in the southwest. Temperatures for the day looking good, though, throughout the northeast. Boston, New York City, Philly, D.C., great. Southland, just scattered storms, otherwise fine, toward Dallas and then toward Houston. A few areas a bit stormy still across the Midwest, including Kansas City. And for the West, very, very quiet, maybe a stray shower in toward Denver. Talk about the details of your week next.